Hello everyone! Welcome back to my video. Uh, what? Well, my video. My channel. Uh, as you can tell, this video is, well, very different from, well, not entirely different, but, um, today's video is gonna be about, uh, Wiccan. Are they okay? What's going on? Um, this video was prompted to me by, um, well, actual experiences with, like, Wicca and Wiccan coming into conversation with, uh, sometimes the conversation would be very ugly, sometimes it would be very calm and civil, it's, uh, it really depends, honestly, um, I remember talking to my friends, you know, we, we joke about problematic Wiccans, and that's because problematic Wiccans exist, and disclaimer, I'm not, I'm not saying Wicca is bad, and I'm not saying all Wiccans are bad. I'm just pointing out the few and the parts that are really problematic, not just for their own, but for the witch community in general. The witch and pagan community in general. Um, it's, it's, uh, I know Wiccans, I know, I know some Wiccans, and they're like bomb ass Wiccans, um, of course some of the Wiccans that I know don't entirely follow all of what, um, Wicca has to offer, and there, like, there are a few reasons why, sometimes it's just because, you know, what, they don't particularly agree with everything, or not everything is just for them, and that's perfectly okay, um, it's just, I'm talking about the Wiccans who are diehard, threefold law, do as ye will as long as you are none, Wiccans. Though, like, the Wiccans that will intentionally go on to users who post things about curses, or, or, fucking anything that is just steps on their toes. And they will attack you, and it, it's the worst, because it's just... Now, I'm calling out, again, problematic Wiccans, and these, and what the, the Wiccans I'm talking about are, are the ones who, yeah, will attack you and say, well, what about the threefold law? And, like, these Wiccans are the ones that don't understand. One, I don't think fully understand the fact that Wicca is a religion, witchcraft is a spiritual practice. Those two are two very different um, you can do one or the other, or both at the same time. Um, and with... <sighs> when someone does a curse, the threefold law does not apply to them if they are A, not Wiccan, B, not Wiccan, C, not Wiccan, and D, all of the above. And it's, I, there, I, okay, the reason why I have a bit of an issue with Wicca is, one, the person who created it, and two, the people who are, again, like this, um, when I first researched, uh, like, witchcraft in general, Wicca showed up, and I feel like, um, for most, Wicca tends to show up all the time, um, which is okay, which is totally fine, um, you know, and some, some find it, love it, keep going at it, some find it, loved it, but moved on, and that's perfectly okay. Um, it's just the fact that certain Wiccans have made it in inhospitable for a lot of new witches coming in. I, I've specifically spoken to a few who have said, who have told me, yeah, I don't really like, like, I, I wanted to, but I decided not to because the community is, it scared me, it's very problematic, it's, and there's just a lot of hate that goes on, and it's true, there's a lot of hate that goes on, and not just the Wiccan community, not just the Wiccan witch community, yeah, even in the pagan, neo-pagan, witch community, like, yes, they're, like, those problems, but today we're, gonna, we're focusing more on Wiccans and Wicca. So, again, I'm not calling out all of 
Wicca or all Wiccan, just a specific view. You know, I'm just, I'm, I have to say this so that people don't go down to the comments and just start saying shit. Um, so, let's, let's start off this video with, with, like, with, about the person who created Wicca. Um, when I first heard about Gerald Gardner, I was like, oh, lit, he's a nudist that likes the occult. I, I, I didn't think much of it, you know, just another old white guy doing his thing. Um, and then time went on and I learned, oh, this dude's like a hella transphobic and homophobic. And no, it's, it's, it's a real fact that he is like this and he was like this. Um, and the reason why this, this, this specifically comes up is because Wicca itself is not a new idea, really. It's more or less just a bunch of old ideas refurbished. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's like, you know, the duality between masculine and feminine and, like, um, working with nature. Like, it's, it's, it's a bunch of old, old things just made anew. And, in a lot of ways, some people are like, that's annoying, because I know people looking into Celtic, uh, stuff, like, the Wiccans, like, they adopted a lot of, like, the, like, a lot of their practices, so it makes it a little hard to find, like, genuine stuff without, like, accidentally falling upon an article about Wicca. Um, uh, then there's also the fact that, you know... The reason why people know he's homophobic or transphobic is because specifically the fact that um, he, he, he believes that for a man and a man to be in love with each other is disrespectful to the goddess because that is a um, imbalance between masculine and feminine energies. And when you kind of go along that thinking, you realize, oh, this is also transphobic and it's like not very non-binary inclusive so it's just wicca wicca originally how it was intended was not a very lgbt ua was friendly religion and um and things changed like the wiccan read that like there are some things in it that changed and but the thing is is that a lot of people they have it and you know, a lot of people still remember that Wicca, Wicca was was created by a guy like this, and Wicca was like this, and that's it. Really, it's really bad because for the new Wiccans or witches coming in and learning this stuff and like learning from these specific people in this way, it's it's terrible because they're learning these things and it's, it's just. Statistically, the majority of Wiccans do not follow the way Jail Gardner intended it. Which means the majority of Wiccans are not homophobic, transphobic, or sexist. Or even racist. I, I believe racist was a term thrown in in a few arguments. And and that's a good thing, but it's the fact that they're like it's the majority still means that there's a minority, which still means there are people with a voice, and you know, and if you, if, if you've been someone on the other side of someone else's hatred, you know when, when there is a group of people filled with hatred and, and just absolute idiocy, they're gonna, they're gonna speak so loud and they're gonna be heard, and it creates issues with that. Gerald Gardner, like, he made this, he started it in, like, the 1920s, and it didn't become public until, like, the 1950s. And another thing that I kind of, I find problematic within the Wiccan community is that many of them are just going around thinking or saying, oh, Wicca is, like, an ancient practice, when really it's not. <laughs> like, I don't even think Wicca is, like, 
like as ancient as the idea that the veil between the like the like this world and the spirit world gets thinner around like Halloween. Like that was not even like a thing that Celtic believed. Like that that was something that was like what during the Victorian era. So like really not all that long ago, and really not. And like that was more of a Hollywood thing. So it's. I don't know, maybe that was a terrible analogy, but still. And like, Gerald Gardner, he was just not a good man. He was just not a good man. And his teachings really spread out, which was not a good thing. And Wiccans have just become a real problematic part of not just their own community, but the witch community as well. And what I mean by that is, they really like to step on other people's toes. They they love stepping on other people's toes, and I don't know where, why this is a thing, because clearly it's, it should be understood that if you are Hellenistic, nowhere near, nowhere near Wiccan, then that means you don't follow the rules of Wicca, and yet so many Wiccans come in and see their posts about curses or whatnot and we'll just be like but the threefold law and it's just like shut up <laughs> like like we're genuinely tired of hearing it because it's like we don't follow these rules we don't we don't live by those rules you do and that's completely okay but we don't let us live you know and it's like why why even bother why even fuck why even fucking bother it's if it's none of your business i feel as a rule as a basic human being shut the fuck up and walk away <laughs> go away <laughs> like if someone's genuinely like being all murderous and shit fucking step in and be like hey like i get like you're upset or whatnot but like <laughs> like that's not like and like you don't you don't even particularly have to come in when someone's being like that and be like you know like hey the threefold lot like no like if someone's being stupid on the internet and saying shit like this fucking break their curse <laughs> but also recognize reasons why someone may use a curse there are people that use curses on rapists, child molesters, criminals, murderers, like, people like that. That's who a lot of witches reserve curses for, and you're just coming and thinking it's just horrible that it's wrong of them to, like, want to bring justice for the people affected by these people. And it's, again, it's not really any of your business, and don't follow your by your rules it's not our it's not i swear at times it honestly feels like having to deal with a christian or a catholic telling you not to be gay or trans or you can't be a witch because that's against god or whatnot like i'm sorry but the problematic wiccans acting like this you will be lumped in with those people you will be lumped in with that type of people and it's, you've only got yourself to blame, in my opinion. You've really only got yourself to blame. And it's... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like... The... And it's also just, what the Wicked read is, it, you only hear, like, two things, two lines from the Wicked read, and it's just like, do you know nothing else from it? I've read it. I know there's so much more to it. So where, why the fuck? Why the fuck are you being this problematic? And it, ugh, are we can, okay. Are you okay? I know a few, I've spoken to a few of their great. Like I said, they don't, they don't follow Wicca. They don't like, cause there are certain things about it they just don't 
don't like. If you are seriously concerned, ask. And don't come in saying crap about the threefold law. Like, honestly, I know a few times when, when someone has been like, Oh, you can't do this because of the threefold law. And I'll honestly be like, Bitch, I will take your threefold law, turn it into tenfold, and set it directly towards your ass. I don't care. I don't care for it. It's not my thing. I I I personally believe, yeah, karma karma is a thing, but I don't I don't see it as a threefold thing. Like, sure, karma can be a bitch, but like <laughs> I don't, I don't personally, I don't personally view threefold law. I view karma as in what you put out in the universe, you get back, but not threefold. <laughs> like, it, like sometimes karma, like what you put out in the universe, comes back like not as badly, but it's like it's a reminder, like hey, know your place. And it's, I feel like a, a good amount of karma is fine, but going around saying threefold, like. I don't know, I don't, I don't personally, I don't, I don't, I don't work with that, I don't, I don't believe in it, and it's just, it's not, it's not my personal thing, and that should be respected, that should be understood, that should be like, okay, fine, it's not your thing, instead of going around being like, hey, you're wrong, you're being a terrible person, you're a piece of shit, oh my god, like, no, I don't want to hear it, no one's gonna listen to you. No one's gonna listen to you. Do you recognize that no one is ever going to listen to you if you go around saying shit like that? All you're gonna do is get yourself blocked. <laughs> like, people, I, I, like, I feel like there are memes going around where it's just like a Wiccan pops into, like, one of their posts and it's just them and it's just like a, like a, like a reaction gif of just what the words blocked and reported. Like, no one gives a shit. If it's not their religion and not their way, don't step on their toes. Like, I, I've, I've said this, like, a crap amount of times, but it's, it's true. It's, Wiccans gotta, gotta know, like, hey, this isn't my place. This isn't where I'm, I, 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 I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be saying anything, because it's not, it's not my place. They're allowed to do their own thing. Now, if someone's being problematic, yes step up, but don't, don't bring your religion to it, because it might not be theirs, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, honestly, I, Gerald Gardner was a piece of shit, the Wick, like, the Wiccan Reed had problematic stuff, and Wiccans were like, hey, this isn't okay, let's change, some Wiccans didn't change, Thus, here we are, and it's just, after experiencing a terrible, terrible conversation that ended with, with a very strong point of view, and then having a conversation where we both had our point of views, but we both respected it, I just felt like this video needed to be made, it needed to be said, it needed to be brought up, so, yeah, uh, are Wiccans okay? world may never know. Hopefully things change. Alright, so uh, there's still enough time in the video, I think. Um, so if you just want to watch the rest, I'll just leave it up. But um, yeah. Follow me on Instagram for updates. Follow me on uh, Tumblr for um, just random stuff about my personal crap and how things are going. Um, also follow my, uh, art account. I'll be making more art-type videos in the future. Um, I, I can't say specifically if it'll be set up like this, but, um, I'm definitely thinking about doing some speed and paint and all that. Um, in the future, if you want to, you know, see more of my art, yeah, go follow my art Instagram. Links definitely down below. like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, comment down below any questions, or any hate comments, I guess, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, okay.